Hey guys, JB here. Again, welcome to the channel. So glad you're with me uh, doing some reviews every day, some good energy, five, six times a week. And I really appreciate you being a part of this. As always, smash that like button if you like this video. And of course, subscribe and hit that alert bell. Okay, on to the video. I always tell you that we have the smartest subscribers on YouTube. I really believe that. And you can tell that just by the comments. And today I'm answering a, a comment from Edmund uh, Tarleton. Edmund wants me to compare an academic journal on the Remarkable One, which is what we have out now, to a 13.3 inch tablet, which I have the Quick Logic coming and also the, um, uh, which is called Paper, and then the uh, Quad Derno, which we also have. So I wanna do this. And first thing I wanna show you is, as you can see, we have to take the PDF, go download it. Then what we do is we then put it into each device through its own software. A lot of people have been wondering, how do PDFs work? And I wanna show you that. So as you can tell, that you just download the PDF or it's on your computer, then you put it in the perspective software. It's not like these devices work with OneNote or Google Drive. They work within their own proprietary software. And I think that's really important to understand. So we download it on, now we have it on both devices. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So we have it on the Remarkable here, it has been downloaded. And we also have it on the Quaderno, this is a 13.3. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into the other studio where I can get an upward view on it. I have not worked with these PDFs yet. So this is actually gonna be interactive, like I'm gonna do it with you. And then we can make a judgment call on it. So as always, Thank you so much for the comments because this is what, how I do the videos for you, the subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe because uh, we're doing a lot of fun things here and make sure you click that alert bell because it helps the channel and smashing that like. All right, let's go in the other studio and check out how these work with an academic journal. All right, so now we're in the studio and we can see just by my hands already the difference in size uh, the 13.3, and again, this isn't just for general note taking, we're talking specifically about a journal uh, that somebody's looking to study. These are 16 page PDFs uh, that admin's asking for. Again, smart people, this is a journal of mechanics and physical solids, as you can see it on both devices. Now obviously, it's actually a little bit hard to read on both of them, but I can read them. The 13 inch is gonna definitely be a little bit easier to read, uh, because of it, but here's what I want to show you first of all. Okay, the first thing is on the Remarkable, we do have a little um, zoom in. So in order to zoom in, we have to use this button. And then we can go ahead and we can make it a particular size and we can kind of zoom in with it, okay? Now, okay, and we use this here to kind of zoom in and out and where we want to move it. I'm going to go back and zoom out to 100%. So to me, right away, that's a disadvantage because on the, um, the Quaderno or the 13.3 inch device, this is basically a Sony device, they have a swipe. And you can see how that just, it just works faster, right? You can get it as big as you want to. And then you just come up here and click that button and you can click exit. So I think it, when you're reading these things, uh, in order to work on them, I think the, um, the 13.3 is a better reader right off the bat. They both swipe to the next page, okay? And there's a lot of information there. The markup is all done on the Remarkable down the right side, okay? So you click your different pinpoints. So let's go ahead and click Highlighter here, and let's highlight like this section. So you can kind of see that's how you highlight. If you want to put notes, you're going to click here. And I always like the fine liner. And let's put a note, uh, read this. Okay, and I am using the Lamy. You see it, guys, the Lamy with the remarkable nib, as I always talk about. Okay, so that works pretty good. I mean, it works. You're gonna work this side. Your eraser is over here. And again, so on the remarkable, I'm gonna relate, erase, erase all, you are utilizing the toolbar on the left side. So again, let's say you're reading this. Let's move that over. Oh, I slid that over. Let's put plus. It's a little clunky as a reader to me. It's not as intuitive, right? So I'm trying to move this, see I'm moving this over in this corner here. Let's go up to the top left part of the page. Let's see if we can get this all the way up. Okay, here we are. So now we're at the beginning. Let's say, okay, um, I wanna read, I wanna highlight this beginning part. I would click this, go to highlighter, and I'm gonna write, like highlight this area, and then maybe I wanna make some notes, and I can put some notes here. Okay, so that's how you would kind of use it as a reader. 
Uh, it works, but I don't think this is the strength of the Remarkable because when we come over here with this stylus that I really like, the first thing we have is ability to press on this second button. I'm gonna go ahead and make this the, the main point of emphasis here and move this out for a minute, move the Remarkable. And basically when I push the second button, I can highlight. And it's just cleaner and it just works better. Do you see how that worked? How that was so much cleaner uh, than the highlighter, you know, here on the Remarkable. Okay, so if we go to the Remarkable, click highlighter. And I'm sure as you use this more and more, I, I don't use this feature that much, it's gonna get better. But see how it's kind of sloppy? Where this, I'm pressing on the button, it kind of knows what you're highlighting. See the difference? Okay, I know that's a little bit hard to see, but you can see it's a little bit of a straight line. Let me go ahead and zoom in the camera a little bit, see if I can make that work. See if it comes in. Okay, there we go. So you can kind of see when I'm highlighting by pushing the second button, it's on right on it, right? And when I highlight on the Remarkable, okay, it's actually based on my handwriting. So for me, I like the little bit of the, the, the non-so-sloppiness uh, feature of this, okay? So let me go ahead and bring the, the zoom back out. Sorry about that. So that's, I think that's where this, the, the, um, the uh, bigger devices have an advantage, okay? Uh, the second thing where the bigger de the devices have an advantage, and let me see if I can do this in real time, is I think this is a big one. Um, let me go ahead and exit out. I'm going to click this. And I'm going to do a two-page spread. Now watch this. So now I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to put the Remarkable over here. Now I have a two-page spread. So I can actually be reading and then working on this, then exit. And it brings me back to my two-page spread. Now the good thing about this is, is that I could take this side and let's just go, um, uh, let me see, change document i want to add a, a, a page here so i want to look uh da, 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 da. let me see if i can add a page i can't remember how to do that oh here it is so let me go ahead and just put in a notepad okay and let me go ahead and go dual screen uh, da, 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 uh open previous side by side oh sorry i hit the wrong button Let's see, hold on, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Sorry, I'm doing this right with you and I'm showing you how to, you know, the way this works, okay? So now I have this document over here, okay? It takes me a little bit. Let's go back to the first page. And then over here, I have notes. So I'm gonna erase this. This is another advantage of this. Let's go ahead and erase. You press this little thing and it erases. Now I got a side-by-side -side note taker. Now let me go ahead and I wanna change these two swap screens. Now, as I'm reading, I could be taking notes. Okay, so I could say abstract. And again, I'm not the most great at handwriting. 2019. Okay, so I think that's a benefit. Now, I've never done this. We use this before, but let's go ahead and uh, zoom this in. So I can tap that. And that does zoom it in. Let's zoom it in a little bit more. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to hit this again. Let, let me redo that. Undo. Undo. Okay. Now let's zoom it in a little bit more and I'm going to click zoom. We're going to go over this area. That's going to zoom it and say, I want to get a little bit more. I can swipe it. Now it's a little bit more. You can see it's 153%. You can't really see that again. Let me zoom in a little bit. Let me zoom in a little bit more. And you can see that the percentage is up here of your zoom. So as I continue to zoom in, see if I can get any further. I don't know if I can go any further in that size, but it's at 153%. Let me see if I can get any further. Nope, I think that's the maximum size and I could be wrong with that. Again, the way I do my reviews is just do them, right? We're doing this as we go. Oops, I don't wanna do that. I wanna undo that and I wanna click this button and we wanna zoom that in. Okay, so that's 126%. Let me try in the double if I can just do it with a finger zoom. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there we go. It's zooming in that way, 139, 156, 202. Yeah, so it's going. 
You just gotta get right into it with your fingers. That does work, okay? So again, let's go ahead and back out of this. So we're gonna exit it, okay? Let's go ahead and make this the only document. So then if you wanna go, uh, let's see if we can do this, display this document only. Now we're back into, oh, a two page, okay? So that's a two page of this document. Again, you can kind of see. So now you're reading two pages. Now, I don't know if I can zoom in on, yeah, I can. Okay, wow. Okay, then it opens one when you zoom in on two pages. Okay, you see that? So I think, you know, in all fairness, I just think that this device, let me see if I can, if I can get it back to single page. Display single page. Um, as it comes back up, let's come back to it. Is the better reader, okay? I, I, I personally, let me go ahead and zoom back out. I personally like the Remarkable as a better note taker. I'll tell, I just do. I think it, I like the way that it writes. I like it for notes. Um, and I, I think the Remarkable does a good job with it, okay? Let's go ahead and come back. Let's see how we do that. Let's, oh, I'm using the wrong stylus. That's when you get two styluses going. It's, it's pretty crazy. So let's go ahead and open up our, our document. Okay, so there we go. And now we're back into the document. Journal of, Me 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 Journal of Mechanics and Physical Solids. So I think this will help you if you're looking for something and you do a lot of PDF work. Um, I think these bigger, larger um, screens that the Sony has created that now Fujitsu has and QuickLogic have um, actually work a little better than a smaller screen. If I'm reading all day, I would rather be reading on this device. Okay. It just, and, and, and again, I know the new Remarkable is going to be thin, but you can see uh, these Sony uh, kind of manufactured devices are pretty thin. I mean, you can't complain about either of them, right? They're both pretty thin. But at the end of the day, if you're gonna be reading all day and you're studying PDFs and you're loading this thing up with PDFs, I would say this. Now, one note that I will tell you, okay? I think this is important. The file system, and I still haven't figured this out. I have that new device coming this week that I'm gonna see if it works differently on here. I can't figure out the best way to do these files, okay? These folders, I can't move. I would like to have all the books and folders like this, and I can't figure out how to move these folders in. So it could just be me, but on the Remarkable, it's really easy. You make folders, you can bring everything and organize it based on folders. You can kind of see how that's organized. This, you just have all the documents, unless the PDF um, can go in there when you install it, right? And you could do it that way, but I can't move them after the fact and maybe that's a software upgrade coming from Fujitsu, or maybe I just haven't figured it out yet. I don't claim to be the best at all this. I just kind of want to show you uh, kind of the way it works. Okay, so again, here are the documents. So you can kind of see the advantage that this device has is obviously the stylus by being able to highlight uh, and then being able to draw and make your notes go side by side. The Remarkable does the same thing but you've got to go ahead and, and get in here and use the, um, use the um, side toolbar for the things you want to do. And, and it just is an extra step. It works fine, but it's an extra step as you can see. So I want to share that with you. Thank you as always for the, uh, the question. I love the questions. I will continue to do reviews on all types of devices. Please, if you can, hit the alert bell and the subscribe button. Both those things, subscribe and alert, uh, to help us build this channel. Uh, and I appreciate the questions coming in. So I hope that helped. If you need anything more, just let me know in the comments below because we have the best people commenting. Uh, just really smart, smart people. All right, go have a great day as always. Thanks for watching. Until the next one, we'll be back with more devices.